What's up guys, it's Neg City here and today I want to talk about a few cards that were hit on the ban list that I really didn't see coming. The ban list is in effect now and everybody's testing wild shit. There's a few decks from the previous format that are still playable but a lot of new decks are seeing play. But let's get right into it. The first hit that I think was so shocking had to be Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. The generic Link 2 Pendulum monster that all Pendulum decks play. This card let Pendulums bypass the the link format because it gave you the two arrows the the only reason we really had master rule 4 into effect i would argue is to bring the power of pendulum decks down because it was literally soul charge every turn but i didn't see this card being hit just because there it wasn't seeing play that's what it was i've never seen tanami just preemptively hit a card like this why did they hit it i think it's because after you get rid of the top four decks like uh, uh, Sky Striker, Orcus, uh, Salmon Great, uh, Combo Thunder, Thunder, all those decks, uh, after you get rid of it, this is the next big deck. And I think if this was not touched, if this was not banned, this this deck would have taken over. It's already seeing play. I don't know. If, I'm sure everybody's already seen, but Triff Gaming already uh, got first place at uh, top eight or first place at some regional in Canada with. Uh, the deck without he heavy metal foes electromate in the previous format just recently so you can already tell like even with pendulums be with heavy metal foes electromate being banned the deck is still playable endemians do not need uh arrows they just summon the monsters they don't need extra deck so it's a little different i do see why they hit it this card was insane we've had formats where this card was at three and pendulum just ruled that format it was a tier zero deck i think it was a fair hit it was just shocking to me it, it did not it barely saw play it was maybe one pendulum deck every YCS kind of thing but they hit it it was a smart hit by Konami and I do respect the hit I think pendulums is a scary deck it was even scary in the previous format with all the other top four decks you never knew what pen, if pendulum won the role they would just set up these crazy boards that you could do nothing about so yeah I do agree with it it was just shocking and that's why this cards on this list the second card, Salmon Great Mirage Stallio. Bunch of my friends do play Salmon Great, and they they keep telling me that the deck is dead, or the deck is far weaker. Even with the three Lady Debugs we did get back, apparently it's not playable. I was testing around with it, and yes, it's so much harder. I thought having three Debug being able to search gazelle would almost uh like mitigate the fact that we lost mirage Stallion, but it really didn't it's because all there's so many in the deck so many level three extenders that now can't do anything people are trying to find another xyz to make but everything is so subpar compared to what mirage Stallio did for the deck uh, there's no like clear way to clear big monsters like how do you deal with Dingarisu, if somebody were to summon that uh, and it just protects itself, there's no way. This card used to just bounce any threat. The deck is filled with really weak monsters that have a bunch of utility. That's what the strong point of Salmon Great was. And now, because this card can't just toolbox into anything, and the second effect to bounce, you can't just do that, the deck is going to struggle immensely. The three debug, we... After testing, we also realized getting just opening debug by itself doesn't really equal anything. It just equals one roar, one rage kind of thing, and it's very underwhelming. All the XYZs, such as Dante, underwhelming. There's this Fire Fist monster that also adds back a fire from Graveyard, very underwhelming compared to what this did. This literally summoned anything. The reason why this is shocking to me is Salmon Great was probably the f out of the big four decks, it was the fourth. Uh, the fourth strongest deck because it suffered huge hits uh, in the previous ban list with, I believe it was Circle to one and Debug to one and uh, Gazelle to one. Yeah, those hits really did cripple the deck and I didn't think Salmon Great was going to get touched because I didn't think it was, it, it saw a, a play here and there. Maybe it was like three, four uh, top decks in the YCSs and Orcus had usually had like 15, 16. So it was definitely way weaker than the stronger decks but they hit it and just like the first card electromite i do think it was because it was a preemptive hit it was 
it was Konami thinking that this deck has a chance to just run the format and we would go back into something very similar to the previous format if this card wasn't touched. I do agree with the hit. It's very painful. The three debug is very cool, but the deck is far from what it was just because I don't think... I just don't know how you out bigger monsters. I think you'll need to play some kind of different like package in the deck, something else, some other types of monsters because the only way... Uh, the only way to out like Orcus Dingrisu is the, is summoning Boral Load or something like Link Four Monsters. That's very very difficult for this deck. But I I think it'll see play. But the hit is the hit is very shocking to me. I want to know what you guys think about this hit. This hit's very interesting to me. A bunch of my friends are probably gonna be done with this deck that played this. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this. And for the final card. I, it's two cards. I couldn't decide because they're both in the same role. It's Pankatrops and Red Reboot. Why are these shocking? Why are they, they fulfill something similar. Why is this shocking to me? Because uh, they saw play in side deck, but I don't think they even saw a maxed out play. They, I don't think every side deck had these cards at three, but for some reason, they went after these cards anyway. I believe... Konami hit these cards because I think Lightning Storm is a little harder to sell if these cards are still available. They're, that's one reason. And I also do think if we have this at three, this at three, and Lightning Storm at three, back row decks, trap decks really are going to struggle and they want to push forward even newer products, newer back row decks. There's a lot of back row decks and a lot of back row decks that really didn't get a chance to shine, such as Sub Terror. So. I think that's what it really was. They wanted to sell Lightning Storm and they also wanted to make sure that these decks that play Pot of Extravagance were not obliterated by all these different cards. I, look guys, let me know what you guys think about all these different hits. Were you guys upset about any of them? What, what What's your thoughts on Mirage Salio? Is Salomon Great still playable? Let me know you Salomon Great players. And anybody playing Sub Terror, Alter Guys, all those... I'm sure you guys are really happy, but what about everybody else? What does everybody else have to say about lose, like having Pankatrops to one and Red Reboot to one? Is it going to be difficult? Is Lightning Storm not going to be enough because there are a few drawbacks you have to open that card? But that's it, guys. Subscribe, guys. Let me know what you got, what shocked you guys in the ban list, and I'll stay tuned for more videos. I have more deck profiles on the way.